Uh, I'm Ash McCarty, and I'm the Director of Product Management for our HCI platform and ecosystem portfolio. First and foremost, I want to thank everyone for being here. Uh, we are extremely excited to share a wealth of information with you, and we look forward to all your feedback and input. Today's session will be focused on VxRail. Supporting me will be presenters from the VxRail and VMware teams, as well as presentations from our partners at NVIDIA and one of our customers, New Belgium Brewing. Before we get started with today's session, I did want to take you through an overview of VxRail, where we see the HCI industry go, going and our vision for the future. At the end, I'll also to go through a view of the agenda topics that we're going to be covering today. So we continue to see tremendous growth and adoption in the HCI market. Dell Technologies is the worldwide leader in HCI, and the market continues to have robust growth, which a projected CAGR of 11% over the next three years. But when you look at it, what is really driving the HCI adoption and innovation in the future? We believe it's down to four key areas. The first being data center modernization. HCI continues to be a catalyst in customers' journeys to modernizing their data centers. And we have talked to a lot of customers about their challenges navigating the last 18 months, and they've really expressed the importance of beginning their IT digital transformation and really talked to us on how HCI helps them accelerate that transformation by enabling them to simplify and scale their business operations. The second area of focus is on edge computing growth. And really, I can't open a blog or talk to a peer without talking about the importance of edge, and I don't disagree. But customers, when you talk to them, don't view Edge as a singular location. We have worked with them to better understand their needs and their requirements. And the way we're defining Edge is where data is acted on near its point of creation to generate immediate and essential value. So when we talk to, about, when we talk to customers about where they're generating value, where they see the need and where they determine their edges, it varies by customer. You know, a manufacturing customer might have generating their value on the manufacturing floor where their robotics equipment ingests and analyzes data. A retail customer may have the, their edge being where they generate value in a back closet where they have their point of sale terminals, their digital cameras, and maybe in-store marketing displays being driven. But the overarching goal with HCI is really about addressing customers' problems with managing data at the edge. And that's whether it's how to provide them faster analytics through AI ML, how to improve security resiliency, or helping them manage their infrastructure and workloads as they scale at the edge. Additionally, we've talked to many customers as they started their journey on multi-cloud and hybrid cloud. And HCI continues to serve as a critical foundation for their on-premise platforms of choice as they implement their hybrid cloud strategy. We've done a tremendous amount of integration with VMware on their hybrid cloud technologies like VCF, and we'll talk about that more today. And we can provide customers flexibility as they consolidate workloads and help them cut operating costs as they grow. And finally, as customers evaluate how their applications and workloads are being developed, they're looking really to transform them into cloud native workloads and gain the ability to operate in a more agile method. We're starting to see more and more customers adopt this model and as they, as they go through this transformation, they are really looking to leverage the scalability and reliability that HCI offers. We'll dive a little bit more into each of these throughout today's presentations, and we're really excited to share all the product innovations and to really demonstrate why VxRail continues to be the leader in HCI. Kind of before we get into that kind of deeper dive and go through all those details, I think it's important to understand the building blocks of what makes VxRail VxRail. And First and foremost, VxRail is built on industry-leading power edge servers. Uh, if you've been looking in the news and some of the announcement we've made over the last month, we just introduced several new models based on the power edge 15G portfolio of servers. And there is a lot of great things to talk about hardware. And if you know what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, I literally could spend all day talking about it with you. But I also want to spend some time to focus on the value in the software. And there really are two key components. First is the VMware software. That is vSphere and vSAN, which are the base of the software-defined architecture that's running on VxRail. You can further augment that with deploying Tanzu for cloud-native architecture, or you can use our jointly engineered uh, VCF on VxRail offer, which runs VMware Cloud Foundation. 
The second component of the software is really around the VxRail HCI system software, which you'll actually hear a lot about today. The VxRail HCI system software is a suite of software capabilities included with VxRail that really drives the key differentiation of our VxRail HCI experience. Now, there is a tremendous number of capabilities here, and I could spend hours talking about it, um, but instead I'm going to highlight just a couple of the, the, the really popular, well-known features that you may have heard of. The first being VxRail Manager. Um, it is available as a VMware vCenter plugin, and it really is the customer's primary management interface on VxRail. Again, it has more detail than I could ever go into, but if you want to think of it from a high level, it's how you manage your cluster. You can monitor health, you can add nodes to your cluster, you can initiate lifecycle upgrades, or you can service your systems through it. Additionally, we have lots of customers that have looked into automating their entire infrastructure. And they do this through the rich API interface that we provide with the HCI system auth software. It enables IT teams to automate, orchestrate any of the operations available on VxRail across their data center. And finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention our cloud-based management at scale, which allows management operations, um, automation, and then also has predictive anal analysis capabilities that basically are delivered all through a cloud-based portal um, that customers can utilize. Hey, um, I have a question. Sure. Um, I think we all know what VxRail is here in this group anyways. Maybe not everybody, but I think pretty much all of us do. But yesterday, I don't remember anybody talking about vCN ready nodes. So are those still a thing? Because I think this VxRail is the purpose-built appliance. Um, and I guess that's why it says vSphere ready. Um, but it, it, are you guys going to talk about the ready nodes? Or did we just not get to hear about it yesterday? I didn't even think about it yesterday. Yeah, not in today's form. Today's form will be focused solely on VxRail. Um, the reason it says vSphere ready, great question, is because we offer flexibility for customers to um, choose the different vSphere uh, licensing options they want, whether that's an ELA or, or the, the different flavors of, of VMware software. Um, you're absolutely right. VxRail is a purpose-built appliance. You know, we, we, we sell both VxRail and vCN ready nodes. And the way we kind of differentiate the two, the two between is kind of a build versus buy um, view, right? You build the vCN ready nodes. You as a customer go determine, hey, what's the hardware I want supported? What's the packages I define to deploy my, my software? How do I do my updates? Go, I need to go test, validate all those updates. Whereas VxRail, we curate that experience for you. Uh, the system is automated from day one um, for, for uh, streamlined deployment up and running um, with our deployment teams. We have uh, the day two experience um, hardened down with a package that derives additional 25,000 plus hours of validation experience. We define the, the full hardware software stack update for you. And then you have the embedded operations and automa automation developed through the VxRail HCI system software that kind of differentiates the two. Okay. So I've talked about VxRail being the leader of HCI, and it does sound like the majority of the folks know about it, but you know, you sometimes look and say, hey, well, why? Why is this so successful? And it's really because we're the only jointly engineered HCI system with VMware. VxRail enhances the experience for any outcome running on VMware software. And talking to customers, the value they see in VxRail is our continued focus on innovation, coupled with the stability and dependability we have demonstrated them over the last five years. It's led to incredible adoption. HCI is for mainstream and mission critical workloads. We have numerous Fortune 100 customers running the majority of their infrastructure and workloads on VxRail now. Overall, we have 12,500 customers who have deployed over 160,000 nodes. And we recently crossed the threshold of over $6 billion in lifetime revenue, which is bonkers to me because, you know, when I started working on VxRail in 2016, we just crossed the $100 billion threshold. And I thought that was insane. And the fact that we are $6 billion is really goes to show it's the fastest growing HCI product in the market. So today we'll cover a wide range of topics focusing on diving more in depth detail on all the things I talked about um, around VxRail, the VxRail HCI system software, the VMware software, and a lot of our partner ecosystem components. The first section today will focus on the VxRail advantage and how VxRail provides a robust management and automation experience to address a variety of customer outcomes. Uh, we'll end the first section with a presentation by our customer, New Belgium Brewing. After the break, we'll come back and expand on some new use cases, uh, which we'll be introducing 
which will enable customers to have additional flexibility when they're deploying workloads on VxRail. In addition, we'll have a presentation with NVIDIA on GPUs and AI ML. Hey, uh, sure. uh, so on the prior slide, you mentioned SAP HANA. I always thought HANA was, you know, an immense memory consumptive solution. Can VxRail configure itself? Uh, can you configure, I should say, can you configure VxRail to support HANA memory, you know, terabytes of memory and all that stuff? Great question. Yes. Uh, we are SAP HANA certified. SAP HANA has several different categories uh, on different supported systems. And one of the categories they introduced was an HCI category. Um, we have several different systems, both two socket and four socket. So a two socket E and E, P and D series and a four socket P series. Uh, they're supported and certified with SAP HANA. Uh, the majority of our four socket systems are sold for SAP HANA use cases. It supports up to um, six terabytes of uh, DRAM, but also if you add Intel Optane persistent memory, you can get up to 12 terabytes of, of memory. And so I, if you, I'm sure you're familiar, the SAP HANA use case can actually utilize Intel Optane memory in app direct mode to accelerate operations. So we see a lot of customers, you know, uh, go with that four socket system for SAP HANA because it gives them four sockets of compute plus an extremely high memory footprint. Um, and, then, and then you get all the VxRail management operations on top that allow you to scale out your workloads for SAP HANA as your, as your needs grow. All right, thanks. So the last section, uh, really how we'll close out the day is, is with a uh, VxRail jointly engineered approach to VMware hybrid cloud and cloud native. And we'll have guest speakers from uh, VMware joining us. Um, so that would be the Tanzu and the Cloud Foundation sessions.